Hi dear teachers, I add this part before the video. In the video, uh, I explain uh, drag drop text uh, crossword puzzle and uh, I explain find the word exercises. But here, uh, I wanted to show there are many, many uh, exercises that you can give to your students. Uh, I wanted to show some examples here. Uh, that's why uh, I record this video at the beginning of the video. I'm going to add that one and I'm going to upload to YouTube. Now uh, here there is matching exercises. You can do match the uh, words and the text. I mean uh, words in the boxes. So uh, here the question is uh, capital cities. So you can put this one and you can match the here. Uh, United States, Washington, Brazil, and uh, let's do randomly here. Not true, but you can use this kind of matching exercises. Here, the check button menu check. You are going to see that which one is true, which one is not true. So you can mm, do matching exercises. This is the another application, interactive book. I'm not going to explain how it is. Uh, how to prepare this one but you can uh, use interactive book in a interactive book you can use many properties here you can make quizzes you can uh, upload your uh, i mean you can install your upload your uh, voice you can ask different you can add different things here you can add video here you can use many of the uh, many of the properties that we are using in our uh, h5p contents so also this is drag and drop again here which one is true here which one uh, is true then you can show and yes it is true so this is the uh, this is one of the activity also so you can use in your lessons interactive book not in lesson sorry uh, interactive book as a homework you can give to your students Okay, this is the uh, mark the words, uh, mark the words here. Uh, with respect to text, you are going to click the various type of berries here, blueberries, uh, cloudberries, and red currants. These are the some type of berries, and uh, it's asking here in the question that one. So by clicking the word, you are selecting the uh, true solutions, and it shows you as you see here that's true or not uh, i found uh, three of them uh, i found three of them there are more here if i show the solutions as you see here are the uh, solutions and you can use this one in your lessons okay uh, this is the question set i showed this one during the video so i'm going to skip this one yes this is one of the part that i like to speak the word set so uh, you can uh, you can record your voice and the students can uh, try to read the texts and uh, you can they will uh, learn how to pronounce the things this is the one of the important for uh, i think here there is one numeric quiz also you can use like this let me start here uh, and uh, what is 32 plus 64 now i'm going to push this pick then i'm going to Tell the true answer. 69. This is the wrong answer. And now I am telling the uh, true one. 96. As you see, this is the correct answer. You can prepare a quiz like this. 70. I am pressing push to speak, then I am answering. 81 as you see you can use like this or here uh, you will ask some questions and students will answer that one also you can use speak the words set so uh, speak the words it says because uh, you can uh, ask many questions here uh, there is one speak the word you can ask only one type of uh, one exercise there here you can continue to ask different exercises also okay uh, here there is another memory game here uh, you can find the some of the 
uh, common one and it's uh, repeating the name here as you say uh, see cloudberry okay then this is a kind of uh, this is a kind of memory game here pardon this two so it's just giving the name if you want you can get this kind of responses in memory game this is also a very good activity for the kids also you can uh, add something there yeah, here this one it's showing the strawberry picture and it's giving the name but you can add here instead of strawberry it can you can add many uh, information about the strawberry so you can give the students like that uh, this is fill in the blanks exercise and you can use this one and the capital city of the brazil is here brazil yeah brazilia as you see you are filling this one fill in the blanks exercise and when you check okay this is one of them true show the solutions it's not going to show me the solution okay and uh, these are classical example grammar test you can use or uh, with image here you can put the image and you can uh, give your text and they can fill the uh, here the names of the blueberries or uh, cranberries okay here these are the general examples yeah all types here i'm finding from this page you can find the hp5.org.org you are going to click hp5.org you are going to then here from examples and downloads you can see these examples and you can decide about which examples you are going to use in your uh, in your um, lessons larger resources other tasks here these are there are if you don't have you can uh, if you don't have this one in uh, our content bank you can communicate with uh, mr nahid and you can find this one also here and this is the last one and dictation dictation i like it i like that one too much because uh, when you press here as you but see cake is a lie full stop it's reading the texts and uh, as you see it's reading the texts and yes a lie full stop is a lie now i am writing the text and when i am checking as you see i made 10 mistakes show the solution the it should be capital if, if i want i can uh, change that one cake is a lie this is true so from uh, there are 14 words here uh, four of them I wrote correctly there are different dictation types now I finished and I'm going to uh, start to video that we uh, that I made as a seminar to the teachers okay then I will share okay Okay, uh, with this pandemic, we, we are teaching online. It started with pandemic, we didn't want, but at the end it started. And of course, we need to change our teaching methods because uh, we are not doing regular methods. We are not applying, I mean, we are not in classroom now. Uh, we cannot see students' face uh, in high school. Also, many students are not opening their cameras. And I heard something like that. So we should change and we should uh, do something for that one. That's why I wrote uh, Teacher 2.0 for that one. Yeah, we should change our teaching methods. This is needed. If we don't change, we will be behind the century. So we have to change. And the second one for this kind of uh, seminars after the pandemic also we are going to continue to uh, give the subjects with Moodle or uh, we are going to continue to Moodle somehow we are going to give our homeworks maybe we are Moodle or we are going to give some online tests with Moodle we are going to continue 
And uh, what is the problem now about the online lessons? Uh, in 50, 10 to 15 minutes, this is uh, from the research. I love this. Uh, in 10 to 15 minutes, uh, students, they are losing their concentration. Uh, so uh, we, are uh, we are having 30 minutes in uh, primary school. I think we are having 35 minutes. It means that after uh, 15 minutes, what you are talking to them, it is not uh, important for them because they are losing their concentration. So uh, we are doing this kind of seminars to add some activities to our lessons uh, to keep students' attention back. Okay, to keep them their attention back because in 15 minutes, if you do one uh, activity, then uh, you, they are refreshing themselves they will start uh, like they are starting new and you may continue to your uh, lesson again. Uh, uh, of course, we, should, we shouldn't think about the uh, curriculum uh, for this kind of things. I mean, uh, we should keep the basic things in our curriculum. What is necessary we should give. Uh, if we try to give everything in our curriculum, uh, that's why we are doing our lesson in 45 minute lesson we are trying to do in 35 minutes uh, so we will lose the uh, many things because while we are trying to keep 35 minute lesson uh, actually this, after 15 minutes you are doing nothing and I'm not telling this one this is from the scientific research okay so after 15 minutes students are going and this is the good condition uh, if they are if they are in stress if they are uh, if they couldn't wake up early, I mean, the other conditions also, they are affecting. And the uh, uh, model we are going to use, effective for teaching, as I wrote, and hybrid method next year we are planning to use if, if the pandemic ends. And one more thing here, it's very easy to prepare the, uh, something, uh, materials, interactive materials in Moodle, it's very easy, actually. Generally, uh, when we don't know something, we are we don't want to uh, integrate. We don't want to do something if we do not know. So, uh, if you start to use Moodle, you are understanding that huh, it's very effective. So, I'm going to show that one some exercises and also I think like this: uh, if you are giving homework and if you are checking this homework, if the students they are sending you papers, and if you are checking them. This takes for one class, or sometimes it's for me, it's taking uh, one and two hours daily. I'm going to show my uh, method also here for one or two minutes. If you prepare this one in H5P, which is the base of uh, interactive contents in Moodle, if you prepare this one, uh, if you lose half an hour here, one hour here, it's automatically grading for you. You are not controlling them. Moodle is controlling for you. So this is also very important. Instead of uh, checking homework, you are preparing something. Moodle is automatically controlling for you. Also, this is very important, I think. Okay. Next one. Today, uh, I'm going to show about the shortly great book startup and how to use the content bank because we are preparing our interactive contents in content bank. Uh, drag and drop text and drag and drop picture. They are almost similar. And I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to prepare crossword puzzle. And I'm going to show how to find the word, uh, find the word. So let me start first with uh, great book setup. Uh, here, this is my. I think you can see, still you can see the page because I share the screen. This is my uh, page and I'm entering three classes, 9AB. And let's say here, here it is my interactive contents. This H5P is all their videos. I'm sending videos to the students and I'm grading them. And actually it's automatically grading. When they watch the video, it's getting 1% uh, and uh, homework is 33%, video is 33%, and exam is 33%. Why I made like that? Because in online uh, in online exams, somehow they are going to cheat. And I decreased the 
decrease the percent of exam and I give different jobs to them. This is also, I think, important because uh, students, somehow they are going to cheat. You cannot uh, cut this one. Somehow they are going to cheat. So uh, if you decrease the exams and if you give different projects or homework to them, and if you increase their average, if they, if, if you increase the uh, this kind of activities uh, average, then it will be more relative. Please, pardon. Uh, more, what can, what is real, more real. Okay. So uh, I'm giving, I'm here from the setup I'm going to show. Here, there are uh, main categories, exam, videos, and uh, homework. And if I want to add a new category, you want to give in, uh, you want to give homework, you want to give video, you want to give also project, I'm going to add category here. I'm going to add category and it's going to shown when I add the, this H5P content. So I'm not going to add because, uh, or if I add project here, save the changes, you are going to see there are new category here exam video the main categories are here these are exam video then homework and now new category project the percentage of it it is zero because i gave the percentages before 33 33 and 34 so if i want to add Let's say maybe I want to make 25%. So all of them, they are going to be 25% for you. Or if you want that something different, you cannot. Uh, uh, this is the main category. And you can give one, two, three projects. When you give your two, three projects, only from the grading system, you are going to check, uh, you are going to check project. When you, when you check the project, it's going to put under the projects. So under the project, the homeworks or your H5P contents, they are going to come. Okay. So simply grading is this one. It's a huge topic. I cannot, if we want to do one uh, seminar about the uh, uh, grade book setup, I think it is, uh, it can take uh, one hour to explain everything about the grade book setup. That's why I'm not going to continue anymore about that one. Let me continue with them. Uh, so then you owe us one, another one, and we should do this one also for another week. Yeah, another, maybe another week topic. Now, content bug. Here, when you choose the classroom, when you choose the classroom, here we have uh, also, uh, when I choose the classroom, we have here content bank. We are preparing our, everything in our content bank. Okay, so here, these are my uh, interactive contents. Uh, today I am going to show, find the words, let's say. Here, uh, I prepared this one before. Let me show first the, the text to you. Here, uh, I prepared especially in Albanian because I, uh, here there is no importance of the language find the words and uh, you're keeping your, uh, you're writing your uh, alphabet and uh, it's automatically designing for you. When you send this one to the student, when you send this one to the student, like, uh, let me show, refresh here, V and D there is, when I refresh, you're going to see that it's not going to be same. So for each student, this activity, is different. And I'm going to try to find this one now. RE, let's say I'm where it is. It can be also crossly. Pramwell is the first one. Pramwell. Uh, so, so that one, let me select. Okay. So it started when. Uh, when I start to find, it started also, it's showing. Will be the other one. Pardon? Altıncı sütun dördüncü satırda ruk, çaprazlama. Yes, the diagonal. Mm -hmm. 
The other one. The other one. This one. Altıncı satır, altıncı satır, dördüncü satır. Yanlış söyledim. Altıncı satır, bir, iki, üç. Altıncı, bir dakika. Sütun altı, bir, üç, dört, beş, altı, dördüncü satır. <gülüyor> Satırla sütunu da Türkçe olunca karıştırdım. Altı, dörtte, ruk, şey, çaprazlama. Bütün de hemen yanında oluyor. Ya şurada, tamam. Çok önemli değil aslında, hani bu ha, şey... E, yapıp, yapıp görmek de evet. aslında. Uh, when we finish this one, it's going to uh, check, when you check that one, okay, from three, I found only two, so I got two points from this exercise. Uh, it can be, you can, they can see the solution, and uh, if you don't want to put retry button here, you will not put retry button, and they will, cannot try one more time. Uh, if you want to grade this one, you can grade also this one uh, in the grade book setup. I'm going to show also that one to you. Okay, let me explain how to uh, prepare this one. Now, firstly, when you open here content bank, in content bank, you are going to uh, hear Mr. Knight prepared for us. Uh, you are going to find, find the words firstly. Find the words. In the words, then uh, this is the template. You are going to write the title, the find, find the words. And then a question by question. Can I ask a question? Content bank is already there, right? Every teacher has this yes. title. Yes. Ah, but okay. first, you should enter the class. Enter. For each class, there is different content bank, and uh -huh. uh, you can copy the content banks also. From this class to another class, I can copy my content banks. Okay. Okay. And here, uh, this is your alphabet. Which alphabet you want to use, you're writing here. Okay. And uh, here, there are some, you can win. These are also prefer overlap, show vocabulary. If you don't want to show the vocabulary, it is possible also. You, can, you won't show the vocabulary to the students. Or enable show to solution. If you don't want to show the solution to students, but this is this is not important. Enable retry. Retry. If you don't want to give more chances once, they will solve only once, and they will get their solution. Uh, I mean point. Here, this is the uh, this is our alphabet. So when it's preparing the uh, when it's preparing the that uh, box. Uh, I mean the word box. It's using these letters. Uh, in that exercise that I show you, let me show that one here. When I say edit, I used these letters. I used these letters. This e also I add especially if I change my keyboard to keyboard to Macedonian. Is it possible? I was past this. Yeah, it is possible. I'm now I'm going to write the these are the letters in Macedonian. So here it is. I prepared before. So here. So you are going to do this ex uh, these are in Macedonian. The text is of course you should change here the word list. And here, uh, for each, uh, I forget to tell, but for each uh, part, there is also explanation here. So uh, when I'm writing the words here, I need to uh, separate with comma. Okay, I need to separate with comma. I forgot to tell that one also. So when you write the text is here, I mean, the words here, then you are going to say save. Let me see what's going to be. Here it is. But there is no that for it, I think. Or directly. We can find because it's it used directly the that words, isn't it? Steam. Here's the only thing I think that yeah. is, uh, I think yeah. they are wrong. They are only the yes, they are only the Latin. Yeah. So it can prepare you can prepare one uh, content like this. Yeah. I want to show also after this content. I want to show. Uh, Mr. Adenash, when you said about that one, I missed maybe. 
Can we choose how many letters on the uh, vertical, how many letters on the horizontal? No, it's, uh, or doing is it it's doing automatically. Hmm. It's doing automatically. Here, I checked before then that one. Uh, there is no uh, force. There is no option like that for no, this no, one. No, no. Yeah. And uh, there is one also uh, easy uh, here. You don't need to write always the, uh, your uh, your alphabet. Here you are using copy. This is this template from this template you are copying. And when you open a new template, let's say uh, cross not crossword. Find the words yes. And I'm going to. Paste and replace, replace the content. You see directly it prepared again. So you can, uh, good part, you can uh, copy your templates also, copy and paste. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to show how to uh, grade this one. This is also important for me. Now, uh, one of the content, I'm going to come to my side. I'm in the class. So I'm going to add one activity to them. For adding the activity, I should turn editing on. Then I'm going to add here. Uh, I'm going to choose when I prepare with con in content bank, I need to choose H5P activity. This is trial only. What is this? And here the important part, you are going to uh, get your, from your content bank. This is uh, for mathematics. If you prepare, uh, if you prepare something here as a mathematics teacher here, uh, and this is the Scopy Elementary. So I can see the other teachers uh, prepared materials. Uh, we can do something like that and then Science and mathematics, I'm choosing, of course, mathematics. And then I prepared in 9A. I'm coming to 9A in content bank. I select from here and adding, subtracting. It was this one, I think. I don't remember exactly, but uh, I upload now and I didn't finish. But here, there is a grading part. This is very important. If you do, uh, if you do not choose this one, it automatically grades and it divides with the others. I mean, it's it seems like one category. If you choose your category, it puts under that category and uh, it can get maximum 25% or how much you are uh, giving your uh, percent with respect to the subject, I mean, title. So uh, I'm going to choose this one in uh, homework part or project, let's say, project parts. I add this one now. Save and display when I say, it's going to put under the project. You are going to see now, no, none of the students. This is one activity it was, I prepared. Actually, this one I'm going to use also. Now, uh, for the, this is the second activity that I'm going to show, drag and drop text. Also, it's going to be here for us. And uh, as you see, when you drag and drop, when they finish this exercise, did I do correctly? I don't know, but uh, okay. They are going to get their point like this. And uh, let me show you again in grade book. In grade book, I put under project that one, that trial, as you see, the uh, no one tried from this classroom. So this project has no point now. Uh, but with respect to your ratio, they are students, they are going to get their grades from this project. Let me delete this one. Okay, I will delete later. So this one was the first one. Second one is, uh, actually I choose these are from the... Uh, in fact, Mr. Erdene, it will be good how to delete show show i mean how we can delete the material if we put there and we change our mind for example uh, you want to delete the great book or you want to no no i'll just try 
projects. Uh, okay. Projects. I change my mind. I want to put another one. Okay. okay. So uh, you want to, uh, if you want to change the, if you want to give as a project, and if you want to change the, uh, you should go firstly to classroom. Which class you gave that one? Nine eight. This trial. I want to change the project here. There are two options. If I want to delete, I will delete here. If I want to change the project instead of this one, I put wrong material here. I want to change the material inside. I need to edit the settings. I need to come here again. Uh, what what I upload here, I need to select this file and I need to delete the file and I need to add new file. From content bank again, I'm going to choose the classroom 9A, okay. Uh, drag the text to, I'm going to put this material, select. I put another material, save and display. When I say, it's going to add uh, the new material. Mr. Erdener, these the materials you've prepared before that you are checking, that you are selecting now, right? Yes, yes, I prepared before. Uh, first, I'm preparing okay, them, I'm, okay. uh, I'm assigning them. And uh, as okay, I said, okay. uh, normally, uh, maybe for mathematics teachers also, it seems difficult to prepare something, but if we lose a, a bit time about that one, also you can find different things. Normally drag and drop text is not related with mathematics, but you can find some activities yes, yes. for the students. Uh, and as I said, uh, this is also Interact for the interactive lessons, it's very helpful. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I can change like this, or if I want to delete the material from the uh, content bank, I can come here, I need to open that one, uh, and directly from this place, I'm, I may delete. Okay. So this was the first activity. Second activity, I showed this one also to you here. Uh, now, this is one uh, vocabulary, I mean, book from, from the, uh, for my son also. He's using the fourth grade, the fifth grade, sorry, the first grade primary school students, they're using this book. And many uh, activities, uh, the teacher is uh, selecting this picture and she's sending to my son in Moodle. And uh, then my son, he's trying to fill this one. He's photocopying this one in this one, or uh, he's downloading and uh, by using paint, he's trying to write something on this one. And teachers need to check this one. But everything what is on this page can be prepared by Moodle. Uh, everything on this page can be prepared by Moodle or this one, even this one, can be prepared by Moodle. Here, complete the uh, crosswords, and we are going to also, uh, we can do crossword puzzle. This is the second one it's going to be. Uh, and uh, when you prepare this one, you don't need to check. Moodle, it's going to automatically check for you. Okay, let me prepare that one, the second one. What was the second one? Here, you can content bank. I'm going to select crossword puzzle. The crossword it's going to be. The here in the video I prepared something like this. And I'm not going to give importance sorry to English teachers. I'm not going to check the spelling mistake like Australia. And Australian. Uh, the first word, uh, what I'm going to write, like uh, Japan, and the students should answer me Japanese for that one. And this is when I prepare this one uh, for the beginning. Uh, I mean, for the video, I send the videos to the uh, to our teachers. In YouTube, there is a video about this one. And uh, here uh, you can take, you can write the text by yourself here, what you want to choose. You can write here, uh, instead of writing Japan, you can write the question here and the students answer, find the answer of the question also. Not only the uh, text and text. You can write long question and there is one 
text answer for this one, I mean, word answer for that one, they can select. Here, uh, there are extra clues. Uh, you can put text or image or audio and video for the answer. So students uh, will remember with that audio or image or video. Okay, so I'm not going to choose something now for this exercise. Here uh, for USA, it's going to be American. I'm going to select the capital letters are not important. They are going to do in all in uh, capital letters. The third word, Canada, uh, Canadian. I prepared this one before. That's why it's showing me directly Brazil and Opa, Brazil and Brazilian. Uh, Italy, Italian, Poland, Polish, England, English. Okay. Okay, this is enough. Or let me add one more. France, French, Germany, German. Okay, uh, if you want to, uh, there is a, one option here. If you want to uh, fix the place of the uh, words in your grid, you can do that one also. For each of them, I didn't select, but because I, uh, also there is an option like that, uh, it automatically regenerate the uh, regenerate the puzzle. So I'm not choosing general this one, but if you choose, it should uh, you should write the place for exactly place for that one or if you want to copy this one if you want to copy this one you can do something like that if you want to copy this one directly uh, from the book you should we can do something like that but i think there's no need for that one and uh, overall solution work when they finished you will give feedback if they finish all of them if if they complete 100 uh, from zero to hundred. Okay, well done. You can write here. Well done. Well done. If you want to age, uh, add range, let's say zero to fifty, and fifty to hundred, fifty one to hundred. Well done for the for this one. Try more. Try more. You can add this one. If they uh, know there are now ten words, if they know five of them. It's going to say try more. If they get more than 50, it's going to re uh, give a reaction. I mean, the feedback. Uh, try, well done. Here, behavioral settings there are. Number of uh, words to be shown. This is very important. You, you will prepare for with 20 words. And each student, they are going to get only 10 of them. Uh, I'm going to do this one later. Firstly, I want to show. And here, this is the language. This is not important because uh, with respect to English, it is prepared here. The, these are the words that are written on the page. You can change this one also. Uh, you can change, if you prepare in Macedonian, you can change this one. It will written, instead of across, it will written, I don't know, in the Macedonian word. You can change these words also if you want, but it is you can keep it uh, in English. Enable retry, enable uh, solution, enable instant feedback. You can give this one. Uh, also, uh, background image you can add. This is one extra option. I'm choose uh, for this one for the words. I made something like this. This okay. This one I choose. And I, when I finish this one, here, when I save this one, here the crossword puzzle, it's going to come. Okay, with 10 words, it should be. Nine words there are. Okay. Um, here, one more. Italy, Italian, Canada, the sixth one, Canadian, okay, and Brazil,
here. It's showing my mistake. And when I check, let me check now. This is the mistake and the rest of them is true. Uh, you don't want to give instant feedback to the student. I, if you remember, I uh, select that one, enable instant feedback. If you disable that one, when I'm trying now with that form, now Brazil. Now, I'm, especially I'm choosing this as uh, here. This is the wrong one. And uh, when I check, as you see, it's going to tell me that it is wrong. And when I complete all of them, there are 57 letters. Uh, it's checking the only the letter. That's the good side. Uh, checking letter by letter. So you don't need to, if, the, if they write, if they make mistake about the uh, word, but if they write some uh, letters truly, it's accepting true. And one more thing I need to show here. When you refresh the page, as you said, the new uh, puzzle is coming. So for each student, it's going to be a unique puzzle. This is also good for the teachers, I think. And one more time, let me show edit button here. I wrote approximately uh, 10, 10, yes. But I want to show five of them. When I say save, it's doing this one. It's uh, asking only five of them. When I now Germany, USA, France, England, and Canada, when I say refresh, it's going to change also the country. The task. So this is the second activity that you can add your lesson. And the third one. Yes, drag and drop text. Uh, actually. It is very easy to prepare drag and drop and drag and drop text there is. I'm going to uh, show drag and drop text now in my content bank. It was again 9A content bank. And yes, it was this one. Now I'm going to, uh, I prepared for the mathematics teacher. So, so here it is minus six. I'm putting to true place or not minus seven now this is minus seven minus three and minus six so when i check yes all of them they are correct and it gives total point to the student and here when i say edit how did i prepare this one i wrote the questions first for the students and instead of uh, writing the answer instead of writing the answer i'm writing the answer between two stars when you put between two stars, it automatically uh, separates from the context. It's automatically separated from the context. Uh, I'm going to give one an, another example for this one uh, to understand better. Here, uh, the, my answer is for this question. It is minus six, as you see here. And uh, it's when I put uh, minus six between these two, it's going to show me, I mean, it's going to separate and it's going to make that text as a, it's going to enable drag drop text. Here, uh, retry and instant feedback if it is the place is wrong or not, uh, you can do that one. And here show the instruction parts there is. If you don't remember, you can find it again from this part. Okay, I want to change the text. so. From the internet uh, here, I'm going to show these are also to you. Uh, okay, this this text I found this text. I'm going to I'm going to put this text to my interactive content. I'm going to put here. Okay, I, this is the text, and I want to uh, I want these words to be. 
found by the students for for two and when I put star before and after the text, it's automatically going to leave from the paragraph on. I'm selecting now. When I say save, you're going to see. Now, as you see, it's going to give you new text. And here, uh, when you put the places on for, or let's put to wrong place here, when you say check, one, uh, one, only one of them is true, the other one is wrong. If you show, if you ex uh, enable show solutions, students may see the solution. If you enable retry, students may, may uh, retry and they can find the, uh, they can do the exercise again. If I say retry on four and two, then if it checks, yeah, it is true, as you see. Okay, one more time, content bank, and here's uh, interactive photo, drag and drop. Here. Uh, this is drag and drop uh, picture. On the picture, you are doing the same thing. Here, when you say edit here, um, of course, uh, you can start from the, I mean, you can start from zero. You are going to choose from the content bank open. When you want to start from the beginning, from here, you are going to select drag and drop, drag and drop, drag tracks and drag text. And the second one is drag and drop or the first one. When you say like drag and drop, it's going to open that one. It's not opening easily. Ah, okay. Uh, firstly, you should select background image. Of course, always it is asking for write the title. Then you are going to select your background image and uh, you are going to select the background image. Then you are going to click here and you are going to get the task. Before then that one, let me show you also on the settings part. I tried this one before. 500 and 400 is good dimension because students, when they see uh, this image it is more realistic. If I choose, if I copy with the its all uh, its dimension, let's say 500 and 300. If I do this one, when I pass the text, as you see, it's changing the dimension of the figure. And if you do not like uh, the figure, you can change the dimensions from here, and it can be like this. The main idea here, uh, you are going to select for the drop zone and drop text. Uh, these are the drop texts, what I choose, or the picture image also, this is the image that I choose. And these are the places that I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to put them here. And uh, first I'm selecting, I'm arranging one drop zone. I'm, I'm giving the name of it because not to mix, let's say uh, in, in testing, I think. Is it uh, small? And show the label when it says it shows the name of it. Uh, and this drag and drop zone can con only contain one element, so you cannot put another element there. Uh, so when you drag and if you do try to put something there, it's not going to allow you and enable auto align, you're going to see, okay, done. So it's giving here at the center and you are going to select for the place. When you finish this one, you need to select the text. I mean, you need to add the uh, place for that one. Here, uh, if you 
right small this one it's going to be uh, you are going to select the where you are going to put if you select all of them it means that it can put to every place so you can put to bain place or bebrek or small instant in place okay it prepared the text for me okay but we didn't finish what we need to write here we need to come here again and we need to check this one which one is true select the correct elements here for this one only small instant when it comes to small instant it is true the others they are wrong or for here it's you see, as you see this i mean pardon this not this one here for this one only Bain and the image is true. Image I showed with EE. These are the correct elements. If you put the Bain here, the text Bain, it's going to be true. If you put the image here, it's going to be true. Otherwise, it's going to be wrong. Let me save this one now. And let's see. I didn't give importance to this one. Okay, now I'm putting the Bain here. Uh, I'm putting the bevrek here, which is wrong. This is okay because you have Kemal, I, the logo I put here, and a small instant in here. It means that I have two true, two wrong. As you see here, from four, it's uh, giving you this one. Plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one. So your point is zero. To explain also the here the score why it's like that actually um, here there is one setting uh, apply penalties if you apply the penalties when they make mistake it will apply the penalties and it will decrease the point if you do not apply the penalties if I show you that one again Here I'm choosing wrong places again for this two. The other two I choose like this. And I check now. As you see, it's accepting two true and it's giving uh, point to them. Point to students. Again, I'm going to retry this one now. Be in here, Yahya Kemal here, the break here, and small instant in here. When I check, you see they got point. Another way, we okay. can add these activities to all, in an exam, for example, a classical question, what is yes. that, and I can add this one as a third question, right? Yes, but uh, can, uh, I need to explain this one. There are two types of exams. One, uh, here, there is one type of exam, it is H5P, and uh, here it is question set, it says. This question set, if you prepare with question set, you can add that one uh -huh. here. Let's say you can paste here and it will be it will be accepted. Multiple choice you can ask here. Drag and drop you can ask here. You know the I explained what is drag and drop. Fill in the blanks you can ask here. Drag the text you can ask. Drag the text. A true false question or essay question you can ask here. But again, it should be in H5P content. If you want to put H5P content in your exam, you should prepare your uh, uh, tests in H5P again. And there is a uh, possibility for that one, as I showed you. Here, there is, um, there is a button I can click here. Question set. Yes, this is the question set. And if you select question set, you can prepare all these questions like this. As I said before, uh, you can do also like this. Content bank. Here there is one activity. If you want to make your activities uh, as one activity, you ask one, uh, you ask one drag drop text, or you ask one uh, find the word, but you want to make them one homework so you are choosing your uh, column and both of the activity first content let me paste here 
Okay, the, this is my first content. Find the words, save. No, I it con it saved all the content. Sorry. column here I need to paste here the content I should choose something it was drag and drop text off yeah I think it's not showing here but you can prepare here the drag and drop text and you can copy here new materials only it can be like this most of that okay this is the this is the second one and this, I, actually this is the third one isn't and I finished my presentation here um, do you have an exam uh, prepared for example by using these methods no I didn't I prepared my exam classically Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I learned also newly uh, one week before I can prepare an exam here. Uh, when I was checking all the properties of them, I mean that. Okay, that means that uh, we will have another session with you about this uh, creating the great book setup, I think. Yes. Uh, later, we will decide this one then today. It is a good uh, seminar. And uh, this one will be in your YouTube channel, I think. We will get the link. Yeah, I won't, but I'm going to send the link uh, to the team, to you and you will see it because it is not going to be public. Okay, no problem. It's it is not going to be public. Okay. Another question, if there is no question. About, about the test that you uh, were showing, is it possible to put in one te test uh, different types of questions like drag and yes. drop? Yes, yes, yes. Or yes. only one type? No, ah, it, it, is, is it is possible. Uh, and, uh, yes, they just for I think uh, that normal uh, test is just limited with these multiple choice, uh, fill in the blanks, uh, match the question yes, something. Yes. But if you want to prepare this with H5 content, there is a question set option. From there, you should prepare your exam. This is From the yes, question yes, set. Eight. Understood. Question set. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Adana. It was uh, You're welcome. Nice. I hope that it will be helpful. And you're here with us. I hope it will be. Thank you very much. See you. See you. Thank 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 you.